Good morning, YouTube. We got a new Yu-Gi-Oh set announced for January, and that set is called Maze of Millennia. Continuing from Maze of Memories, which was the last non-deck building set that also has collectors, rares, and rares as commons. It was a weird set, I think, Maze of Memories, but it did bring up um, a few good cards, and this one has a few interesting things as well within it. So before we begin, like the video, subscribe, January 18th, this is the TCG release date of uh, this set, and this is basically an import from the OCG's Animation Chronicles set, and we're gonna go over everything that we know in this video. 11 Ultra, 16 Supers, 57 Rares, 1 QCR, which I think is gonna be Garura, Wings of Resonant Life, and we're gonna talk about that. 1 Foil per Brewster, and 6 Rares per Per pack and we can already see a lot of interesting things here on the cover of this image uh, courtesy of Yu-Gi-Oh! News on Twitter so follow them link is going to be in the description because I'm using all of their material here um, new flame swordsman support which is exclusive similar to what we got with gate guardians some illusion stuff and bonfire which is a very very crucial and important card and we're going to talk about that when we get to it also you can see the alt heart of um the alt art of course of junk warrior which is the first card that we know guaranteed is in the set and again this is animation chronicles 2023 um new alt art and i did speculate about other alt arts that could be here we'll talk about that during the end of the video um number one is a card that could be used using Horus Monsters, which are all level 8. You can climb up to this, which does not exist in the TCG yet. It is basically Diabolosis. This card allows you, when it's summoned, to look at your opponent's extra deck and send one card from it to the graveyard. Um, you can also detach one material from this card, target one card your opponent controls, destroy it, and inflict damage similar to what Dragoon does really crazy number one colorless chaos king of dark world a new dark world card that can be summoned using a lot of like multiple fiend monsters and rainbow um gains a thousand attack for each material and also allows you to discard for effect and uh get this card some targeting protection this is probably going to be hard to bring out with like brand infusion stuff because this is a level 12 which is uh, not going to be super easy. We got new Arcana Force monsters, and um, which is always interesting. New Earthbound support. I was wondering when we're going to get that. We are getting it now. It is seeing a little bit of play in the OCG right now. This is the new Earthbound Immortal, Earthbound Servant, sorry, Geo Grasha. Must be fusion summoned at the end of the damage step. At the start of the damage step, it's card battle as a monster. Chain that monster attack to zero. If the monster monster is destroyed by a battle card effect, you can destroy all the cards your opponent controls. Interesting. 3,000 attack. Earthbound Fusion plus Earthbound Synchro. Um, if this face-up card leaves the field because of an opponent's card, you can special summon one Earthbound monster from your deck or extra deck. That's pretty good. Um, and this should be good as well. If a, if a card is in the field zone, you can special summon this card from your hand, which is a, it's a level 5 Dark Fiend. And... Um, I've seen this card being used in Chimera because it is a level 5 fiend. You can search for it in the deck. Um, you can discard it at one level 3 fiend tuner. Also, you, you're locked out of the extra deck except for fusion and synchro. Interesting pick. Um, another Earthbound Prisoner. This is probably what you search for. It's the fiend. Um, I'm assuming it's a tuner even though it doesn't say it. Uh, and then this is an interesting card that requires you to do some math. It's not so easy to understand. Harmonic Synchro Fusion. Send two face-up monsters you control to the graveyard. One tuner, one non-tuner. Special summon one fusion monster and one synchro monster from the extra deck that can be fusion and synchro summon using only those two monsters in the graveyard as material. Um, you cannot special summon. You're locked out of uh, the extra deck for fusion synchro. So basically, I think if I'm getting this right, if you have Quem or and Cartesia on board and... Let's say you have, uh, let's say you have Quem. No, Cartesia. If you have Cartesia and Garura, you can activate this card and then special summon Granginiol and Baron de Fleur from the extra deck and send them to the graveyard, right? Yeah, you send them as cost and then you summon it. Interesting. 
interesting, could be cool and branded because of the synchro, um, synchro strategy that is like pretty recent to the deck. I think it could be cool. Um, more cards, Earthbound release. We're not going to talk too much about that. This card is is uh, is is worrisome. Pay half your life points. Target one normal spell in your opponent's graveyard. Blah blah blah. Doesn't matter. The graveyard effect is you can banish this card from your graveyard and pay half your life points, then target one normal spell card in normal trap card in your graveyard. This effect becomes that monster's that normal traps effect when it's activated. So, um, there is a Mayakashi card um, that is mainly what this card is being used for in the in the OCG. Even though you can use this for big welcome, of course, to just big welcome three times a turn. Um, which is already nuts. Like, this card is very, very good in trap decks. But what the OCG is actually doing is sending this card with Beatrice, then on your opponent's turn, sending the Mayakashi card that says you can tribute to Mayakashi Synchro or Link. And it's basically um, sort of a Kali Yuga. It's, it's your opponent cannot special summon from the hand, extra deck, or deck for the rest of the turn. That's the Mayakashi trap. So you don't need to pay the cost, it just copies the effect. It just skips your opponent's turn, basically. Um, very, very good card. Photon Delta Wing. Um, some some more dinos. If your opponent controls two or more face-up non-win monsters, those monsters cannot target this card. Um, during your main phase, you can end what polymerization from your deck. Interesting. If this card is banned, you can special summon this card, then add one polymerization from your graveyard to your hand. Why? Not really sure. This card is going to see play. And it's called Bonfire, even though this looks like a torch hanging on the wall. It doesn't really look like a bonfire. This is a reinforcement of the army for Pyro Monsters. Add one level four or lower Pyro Monster. This is relevant because Centurion is coming. Not only Centurion, but Centurion is going to be the one archetype that uses this card a lot. Because it searches one of the starters, the one card starters of the deck. Um... Centurion is going to be released in um, Valiant Smashers, which I'm not sure what the TCG release is. I think it's before this set. Um, but this card is going to get a lot of love because Konami is showing a lot of love to Pyros and Fires recently. Um, and then we have Drastic Draw. This is also interesting. It, it kind of locks you into Cybers, but you banish all your monsters minimum two and draw three cards, which is very interesting. Armored Xyz. And then the last card I want to talk about, Eye of Illusion, relevant for us Illusion lovers. You control an Illusion Spellcaster, Illusion or Spellcaster monster, activate one of these effects. Your Illusion and Spellcaster monsters cannot be destroyed this turn. During your opponent's turn, target what face of monster your opponent controls. You can control it until the end phase. This is a quick effect. Uh, when your opponent's monster declare an attack, target one face of monster they control. Change the attack target to it and perform damage calculation. So basically, your opponent's monsters attack their own monsters. Interesting. I mean, Eye of Illusion. That's pretty cool, right? Look at the artwork. Also, really, really nice. Um, this is an interesting set. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about these cards. Um, I did also want to show some of my copium. Um, this is the Mayakashi Trap, by the way. Ghost Meets Girl, a masterful Mayakashi Shiranui Saga. Um, kind of broken. And then this is my copium because of the uh, the Junk Warrior stuff. We have a lot more alternate artworks that were not released in Animation Chronicles. But maybe, maybe Konami decides to, you know, to give us some of these. Um, they're probably going to be in a set like Magnificent Mavens. But are we actually getting something like that? Not really sure. Like, subscribe, comment below. What do you think about the set? I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.